Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making an oak pergola. Something that anyone can do. So dust off your copy of Blender and let's get cracking. So normally what I like to do when I uh, do these sorts of things for my clients is just create a plane. And then size it up to whatever you need. So in my instance we're going to go on the Y is six meters and then we're going to go on the Z as three meters okay so that's going to be the size of our pergola um, next we're going to chuck in a cube and now this is going to be um, the X and the Y is going to be 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 so these are going to be the um, upstands. Let's just take this over to the corner here. I'm just going to click on G and bring it over. Yeah, we're going to change that to a vertice and then G, we just need it over. Come on. No. And then we're going to shift D on the Y. God, the light in here is shit. Shift D and Y over to this corner and then select both of those. Shift D on the X like so and then we're just going to grab these two and then we're going to bring them in the middle here. So Shift D on the X or the Y and in the center. So these are our six main supports. What we need to do now is create um, these supports along the top here. So what we'll do is just shift a cube and then these we're going to have Z 0.2 and then on the X 0.15 let's just have a little look here 0.1 and then we can just bring those up so this is going to be on the top here let's just switch that off go in the top down view and yeah it's banging so that's where that's going to be and then we can just size it out scale it on out there and it's going to go past the ends and then shift D on the X across here like so next what we want to do is we need I'm going to copy those shift D R 90 oh <laughs> okay not that <laughs> shift d r z 90 there we go and then we're just going to bring this up to the end here and then in the, to the center somewhere and then we can just scale those back down to about there And we just bring it up around about here. Now we're going to chuck one on the end here. And then what we can do is a an array along the Y. along the Z along the X 
minus. Okay, now if we go for about ten, and then just spread them out to about there. Looking good, looking good. And then what we can do is add one of these. Shift D on the Z. Rotate Y 90. And then that is going to go, one's going to go here. So we just take it down about there, I think, and then just bring that out across like so, and then duplicate Shift D on the Y over here. Let's just make sure it's all lined up. Looking good. Right, so now what we need is some knee braces. Knee braces here, here. So we'll just do one. Um, shift D. Oh, in fact, we'll just pinch this one actually. Shift duplicate on the X. We'll just scale that right the way down. Whoop like that. We're going to give it some, we're going to go into edit, give it some loop cuts, so control R, like so. And then we're going to go into proportional editing. We're just going to select this loop here. And then we'll see Kind of like that. I mean, we can make it smaller because it's got just got to fit in the corner here. So we'll just scale that down. Rotate on the X. And it's just going to fit in here, like so. But what we'll do is if we make him a little bit wider like so so make it nice and easy nice and easy to make so we've got our uh, let's scale but we don't need to scale on the x so scale shift x and then we can just bring that down and across. There we go, like that. So these are our knee braces. So we need one there and one on the other side. Let's just copy, shift, duplicate on the X. Like so. And then we're going to have on the, all the supports there. So shift, shift duplicate on the Y to here and then we need to shift duplicate or shift D on the Y rotate Z 180 and then shift duplicate on the Y again but back to there and that's our knee braces in Okay, now all we need to do is edit. Oh, we're editing that one. Control R, we'll put a loop cut in the center here. Do we leave it there? No, we'll just drag it up. Whoop, we don't want that one. <laughs> Turn proportional editing off. <laughs> so we'll just edit that. And then what we want to do is hit number two because we need, need the edges. Oh no, hang on. Control R. Oh no, that's right, yeah. And then we can just bring that in 
like so. And then on this one here, oh actually, we can just bring it in the same. Like so. Turn off editing. There's our pergola. Right, I'm going to get some material in there. So I'm just going to select this one, new, new material. We're going to change it to image, which is in here. And then we're going to get our wood material. Let me just find it. So I've got a raw oak, as you can see, raw oak. Um, and then we can just pull that. This whole structure is oak. So we can just use this material on pretty much everything. Like so. And everything will be covered in oak. We'll move all that. So we'll move those ones over a bit because they're not in line properly. We can just move them. Over like that. And then we need to get this side done. Um, I will chuck the material if you want it on the website somewhere um i will drop a link below and there's our pergola nice and easy that well that's still oh that's why that needs to come over that needs to come over a bit Like that. And there's little bits that we've missed. <laughs> I suppose really we could just... 0.15. Same as that one, 0.15. And there we have it, there's our pergola. Um, I use, for grass, so if you want to do, you could put in a plane if you like, scale it up. I'm just going to drag it sort of there. I'm just going to move that. Um, our pergola will be just like on the grass. So spawn asset. Oh, there's nothing there. Damn it. Well, <laughs> there's our pergola. <laughs> um, what you can do is we'll just change the light into environment. Um, there, environment. And there's our, uh, let's just change this to cycles, GPU, denoise. And there is our pergola in the nice hot sun. In fact, we could just turn that down a fraction, like 0.5. At least we can see it. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll get some more of these types of things done in the next few weeks. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can download these models on our on the Patreon site. Um, link is in the description there. Um, and our Gumroad, you can buy the model from Gumroad. 
So we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.